Ukrainian veterans are in Lebanon. They arrived to take part in the Beirut Marathon. Before the run, they visited Sidon. Representatives of the Ukrainian diaspora gave them a tour of the city. This architectural gem is around 300 years old. In 1721, it was built as a traditional private Arabic residence. 17 years ago, the building was turned into a museum. <laughs> the veterans said they were captivated by Lebanese architecture. <laughs> to be honest, I'm really excited. It's an absolutely different culture, a different legacy. It's amazing that all of it has been preserved until present time, and we have a chance to see it all. Konstantin said he enjoyed Lebanese sweets. Such an unfamiliar taste is something very sweet, and I think I want some more to tell you the truth. The veterans also saw an ancient Christian church in Sidon, a traditionally Muslim city. Around 60 people come here every week. It's a little unusual to see benches in an Orthodox church. I know that benches are common for Catholic churches. Well, at least I had a chance to touch history. Representatives of the Ukrainian diaspora say that people tend to fall in love with Lebanon as soon as they come here. I haven't been in Ukraine for quite a long time, but my parents are Ukrainians. My mom and grandma are Ukrainian, so I am the fourth generation of Ukrainians in our family. That is why I take pride in Ukraine. I love Ukraine. I quite often have guests from Ukraine. I tell them about Lebanon, show them around. At the marathon, four Ukrainian veterans will compete in the 21-kilometer and 8-kilometer runs. Over 70,000 people take part. It's more than in Washington, D.C. Spectator. It would be great to have similar projects organized in Ukraine. The most important thing is the rehabilitation of veterans, so that our soldiers can come here, explore the country and get positive impressions. Before the marathon, the Ukrainian team decided to test their stamina by climbing one of the Lebanese towers. <laughs>